in darkness they came. Their destination, the Games Academy somewhere out at sea. Their mission, to become games playing legends and to crack the challenge of Games Master. Final, the moment we've all been waiting for, where three teams are battling out for some of the most mega prizes on television. And this is what the hottest team will be taking out an Amiga 32 bit, a Philips CDI interactive, it looks like fun, and then we've got the Atari Jaguar looking mean and moody, and finally the PC with real magic card to go to a cause of their choice. Not only that, we've also got a special limited edition diamond encrusted Games Master Golden Joystick. Yeah! Yeah, I'm ready, Dave Perry's ready. Let's find out if the teams are. The first team up from the six are the Mega Maniacs. You even dream about beating us, and you better wake up and apologize. Essex bad boys, the Mega Maniacs take games playing so seriously, they even have their own coach. Ain't nobody gonna beat my boys. Yeah! yeah. Captain Russell Benson's main interests in life are chips and his weekly dose of Star Trek. Live long and prosper. But Russell's real love in his life is his girlfriend Louise. Ah, and his ambition is to marry her. <laughs> Next up is big boy Rob Cox. He's the oldest of the players at a decrepit 20 years old. His hobbies include swimming and eating pasta. And when he grows up, he wants to be just like Clint Eastwood. Hmm. Question is, do you feel lucky? Or do you? Punks. Last up, we have Stuart. Would you lend oh. this man a five of Bovis? Stuart loves the energetic things in life, such as sports and your good old rave up. And if he comes back in another life, he'd like to come back as a uh, bouncer from Neighbours. Mega Maniacs. Word. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Brave words there from the Mega Maniacs. They've done really well to get through to this far. So, Russell, what's going to happen tonight? Well, the other teams could like dream what they like, but sooner or later they got to wake up and face the Mega Maniacs. Right, next up is the Elite Free from Birmingham. Let's go and check out a little bit about them. Yeah! We're the Elite Free. We are the best. And we'll prove it when we beat the rest. Football crazy Elite Real from Archbishop Grimshaw in Birmingham. Team captain Matthew Ward loves football and Mario Kart, so naturally he wants to be a journalist. Second is Liam Thomas. Liam's most exciting moment is appearing on Games Master. He supports Liverpool and his ambition is to make loads of dosh. That'll do nicely. Our final member is Ashton Love. He just loves hard men Ryu and Arnie. I'll be back. But in his lighter moments, he likes to settle down with a nice bowl of ice cream. Mega Maniacs and Hummer Hawks, all they ever do is talk. They're quietly the confident. Right, they're cool, they're calm and they're confident. They're elite three, they're not a million miles away from me now. Ashton. What's going to happen tonight? Well, we're here on business, not pleasure. Yeah? Yeah. You're going to take home them prizes? Yep. For sure. All right, then. Good luck to you guys. Right, we've got one team left, and that's the Humberside Hawks. We need to find out what's happening with it. <laughs> Basketball crazy Humberside Hawks will go to Lower Soft School and a full team. First up, team captain Sam Thompson used to collect teddy bears, but now he likes to cook. He's got 14 cats and one sister Marnie, and his hero is Michael Jordan. Next, Matthew Evans, or Flopsies is known to his mates. He hates doing the Ubering, but loves washing the dishes. Strange boy, and his ambition is to be a copper. Our last boy in blue is Paul Steele. Paul's favourite game is NBA Jam. His ambition is to be a fireman, but at the moment he's just looking for a girlfriend. Has he met Marnie? I've seen the rest, now watch the best. Yeah. 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 Seen the rest, now watch the best. Here they are, the humble side hall. Right, you've done pretty well to get through to this far in the competition. What do you think is going to happen tonight? Oh, I've got sorted. Easy. Y yeah? Easy win. Was it tough to get here, did you say? Well, it's pretty hard competition, but, well, you know. You're through to the final? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to give it a good effort? Yeah. All right then, lads. Right, let's get straight on the first challenge, don't you reckon? Yeah. Yeah, good. Right, Games Master, tell us what the first challenge in the final is going to be. The first test of skill I selected for our would-be champions is on the futuristic Cybermore for the Atari Jaguar. Our contestants have two lives to collect 18 diamond-shaped pods well dotted done. through the interstellar valley through which they must carefully guide their spacecraft avoiding the various obstacles in their path. And the team who has the least pods remaining uncollected after 45 seconds will be the victor. 
as usual. I'll award five points to the winners, two to second place, and zero for last. Let the games begin. Cybermorph on the Atari Jaguar. You may remember in the heats we went for all new games and then in the semi-finals we played it out on some classics. Now in the first part of the final we're going to go for games of the future. That's right, the first one is Cybermorph on the Atari Jaguar. Now this man here is Dave Perry, our game guru. He's been my resident co-commentator with me throughout the series. Dave, do you want to just say something about the championship? For the well, the standard of games playing in this championship has been excellent but most importantly the camaraderie between the teams has been exemplary. Yeah. People might be knocking video gaming at the moment but don't let them knock the video gamers. That's right. Come on, we want to see some brilliant and exciting challenges, and that's what you're going to see on the Games Master Team Championship Final. The first game up is Cybermorph. We've got Rob from the Mega Maniacs. He's going to go first. Dave, tell us about Rob. He's probably his team's weakest player, so it could be a tactical move to put him forwards, or it could be a mistake. Right, now we're going to find out the truth. Rob, get ready. You've got 45 seconds and two lives to have the fewest pods remaining. Good luck to you, mate, and start your challenge. Yeah! Okay, Rob go. goes herring off on Cybermorph. Down in the bottom left-hand corner, that yellow bar, that's his energy. When he hits things, he will lose parts of his energy. The lower that yellow bar gets, the less energy he's got left. And here he is to death. He's only got two lives in this. The pods, the pods are those diamond-shaped diamond -shaped objects below, Rob. You pick them up by driving over the top of them. The number of pods collected, or the number of pods left, is in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen, above the little yellow diamond-shaped icon. He's got 12 left at the moment, and he's doing very, very well. Come on, this is the final! Rob's navigating his way through. There's two pods that he wants to get to. Two pods. It's very tricky as you find your way through all these poles. There'll be a lot of baddies later. When his time's running out, he's just died. He's lost his ship. That's the end of his challenge. Ten pods remaining. Dave from Rob there in the Mega Man, he actually ended up with 10 pods. Next up is Ashton of the Elite Three. Now, Dave, he's a bit of a cool customer, isn't he, Ashton? He is, and I made the mistake of branding him an underdog in the semi-final before he won his Street Fighter II challenge. Yeah, he's good. a cool customer who says he's not here for pleasure. Let's hope he's then going to do the business on this challenge. Right, let's see the business, Ashton. Start your challenge! Yeah! OK, go. off goes the Cybermorph. Lock Same rules again, he's going to pick up those. That's it, those pods, those diamond-shaped pods. His energy bar, bottom left-hand side of the screen, that yellow bar. That's how much energy his ship's got before it blows up. He's only got two lives when that yellow bar disappears. That's one of his lives gone. Bottom right-hand corner of the screen, that number above the yellow diamond. That's the number of pods remaining. Also, it tells you, tells you in the box at the bottom of the screen how many pods remaining are in green LED writing. He's lost one life. He can't afford to lose another. How's his time going, Jack? Left. Ten seconds to ten go. Seconds left, he's got 11 pods left. He's, doing all he's right. got to get some more. Ten more. pods left. Five. That's it. One more pod to go into the lead. Nine pods left. He's in the lead. Can he get another pod? That's going to be the end of his challenge. Nine pods Watch remaining. Yeah. That's still got down to That's quite good. OK, so the Elite Three are in the lead at the moment, but next up from the Humberside Hawks is Matthew. Dave, tell us about him. Well, Matthew didn't win any of his challenges in the previous heats. Yeah. Maybe tonight's the night for Matthew to prove his worth on the screen. Right, see if you can put your team out in front there, Matthew. Do your thing! Here we go, the clock's running! OK, Matthew goes storming off. He's looking for those pods. There's a couple down there. Gets down nice and low, kicks up the pods. He's got to navigate his go, way go, go. through the big pillars. Ten seconds gone. He's not got many pods yet, Dave. He's not got many pods yet. There's an information box at the bottom of the screen. It tells you how many pods remaining, as well as the box on the side of the right, screen. Right, he's coming up Nobody should be in there. He's Challenge. Don't you reckon, Dave, you can get down to about seven on this challenge. But you should be able to have good games, but you should be able to. But don't forget, that cage is a very hard place to play. Right, it's good. 30 seconds. The nerves really take hold. There's so much at stake here. It's going well. One last one. He's got to He's get got a move. 12 on. pods remaining. He's got to get a move. He wants another three pods. Five, be equal first. Four, three, 10 two, pods is equal second. One, 10 pods. Four, 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 Right, so the Mega Maniacs and the Humberside Hawks drew in that heat. That means they've got two points each. But out in front at the moment with a massive five points is the Elite Three. Give yeah. a cheer. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next stake. Now we need to go to the Games Master, find out what the second challenge is going to be. Games Master! For my next challenge, I've selected the very handsome and high tech beat em up Rise of the Robots for the PC. Our contestants must smash their opponents in a single round of metal-busting, fighting action. Clever tactics are required in this awesome clash of the titans. As a blow delivered when the blue power gauge is at full capacity can make all the difference between victory and failure. 
I'll award five points to the winner of each bout and zero to the losers. So it's a round robin on Rise of the Robots and we've got Paul from the Hawks and Russell from the Maniacs. Dave, tell us a bit about what's going on. We're going to have a round robin competition on one of our games of the future, which means that each team's beat-em-up specialist will play both the opposing side's beat-em-up specialist in short one-round bouts. This is a great way to whack, rack up big points and it means that either team could turn the championship now. Right, the guys are in the hot seats, they're getting ready for their challenge. Start your challenge, guys, good luck. Oh, guys, from the Maniacs are playing Cyborg, which is the blue robot on the left-hand side of the screen. And the Hawks are playing Military Droid. Here's the grey robot on the right hand side of the screen. At the moment, both fighters sizing each other up. The energy bar is at the top, obviously, the green bar with energy next to it. The more that disappears, the more trouble each fighter is in. By holding down the kick and the punch buttons, the longer length of time, the blue power bar lights up underneath the fighters, letting them do special moves. At the moment, Cyborg is hammering military joy. He's hardly got a knock in. Russell and the Maniacs and Matthew the Elite 3, they're both up next. Dave, tell us what cyborgs they're going to be. Well, the Maniacs are going to now play as the military droid. In sense of fairness, we decided they shouldn't be the cyborg both times. And the Elite 3 are now going to play as the blue cyborg. So, good luck to both the guys. They've got everything to play for, believe you me. OK, guys, start your challenge. Good luck. Yeah! Here we go. OK, so the blue oh, cyborg on the left-hand side. That's the Elite 3. And the Maniacs are the military droid, which is the grey robot on the right-hand side. Once again, the energy bars are at the top of the screen, and the blue bars you see flashing underneath them. That's where they hold the fire button in to get a harder punch or a harder kick. And at the moment, the cyborg is taking a pounding for the military droid. His energy bar's gone right down. That's the end of the challenge already. Victory for the military droid. Russell of the Maniacs clinched that one. Right, now, Paul of the Hawks and Matthew of the Elite Three, they're up next. Dave, anything to say about these guys? Well, Paul's going to be playing as the blue cyborg, and Matthew of Elite 3 is now going to be the military droid. We swap the robots around to make sure no one has too much of an advantage being the same robot all the time. So, the guys are ready, they're in the hot seat, their droids are prepared. So, off you'll join where go and start your challenge! <laughs> OK, so the cyborg gets the first hit as military Take droid the leaps side. in. There's not much going on at the moment, the cyborg is just sitting there defending, waiting to strike back. Military droid is waiting to move in. Cyborg seems to have found a tactic. That's the end of it already. Let's go to score ball see what the current standings are. The Elite Three, unfortunately, they didn't get none on that last challenge, but they got five on the first one, so they got five overall. The Mega Maniacs, they did a bit better. They got five on the last challenge, two on the challenge before. That means they got seven overall. But in first position is the Hawks. They got ten on that challenge. They got two on the last challenge, so they've got twelve overall. Yeah! Yeah, we have to go and say goodbye to the Elite Three, unfortunately. Bad news. First the way it goes. Ah, it's always bad news when a team gets knocked out, especially in the final. Liam, do you want to say anything? Not really. No, I'm not surprised. No. No, well, they're stunned into submission. Not surprised. Didn't they do well, lads? Come on, the other team. Yeah, give them a cheer, eh? Yeah. All right. We don't like to send anyone away empty handed, especially not in the final, so we're going to give them a Gage Master golden joystick at least. Don't you think that's the least we can do? Yeah! yeah. Give them a cheer. Come on, caretaker. You know, I've actually discovered that I don't like it when people lose, but oh well, it's the final, and there's two more teams. One of them's going to get knocked out, and one of them's going to win. You're going to see what happens in the second half, so don't go too far away. We'll see you in a minute. Bye. <laughs> Two teams left in our Games Master Team Championship final. Here they are, it's the Humber Hawks and the Mega Maniacs. Right, what we're going to do here is we're going to wipe the slate clean. We've got three challenges left. These two teams are going to battle it out for the winning position. So, Humber Hawks, Mega Maniacs, give them a big cheer. Yeah! Oh, okay. okay, Mega Maniacs, are you determined? Absolutely. Sooner or later, this lot have got to face reality. The sooner they do, the sooner they can go home. <laughs> so, Humber Hawks, what do you say to that? I said at the beginning, we, we got this far, we're not, we're not going to go out now. Right, both teams have determined, we better find out what the challenge is going to be. they got their boys behind them. Right, Games Master, tell us what the next challenge is. First up is on the super speedy Sonic CD for the Sega Mega CD. The contestant who races to the end of the level in the quickest time shall strike the first blow. Your teams are relying on you. Don't let them down. 
So the game is Sonic CD. Now I've got to tell you, these three games over the next three challenges we've played, they've all been chosen by the teams themselves, so they should be pretty hot at them. Right, Sam and the Hawks is up first. Dave, anything to say about Sam? Well, both these guys have proved themselves over and over again in their heats. And what better way to reward them than with the cream of platform game Sonic Excellent. CD? I don't think I'm going to say anything more. Let's let the consoles do the talking. Right, let your fingers do the walking and get going. Good luck with your challenge. Off you go. Well, here is Mason off. Essendon is his solo Sonic's turbo boost to give him some extra power. And he shoots up through the hoop. Through the flipper, which will give him extra speed as he races up into the sky. He's facing in the wrong direction. No, he's not. He knew there were red slippers there. He knew the red slippers were hidden there. And that gives Sonic even more speed. And now he's at full speed. Sonic is at full push. There's an invisible level there. A warp if you want to have Sonic manage to jump on thin air. That's the level. And he's going to the invisible secret room. It's a secret room. It's, yeah, it's not a good thing to go into that because it takes you back as far as it pushes you forward. If you know what I mean. It doesn't do any good on a speed challenge. Oh, and he's hit a baddie. That's terrible. That's lost the baby. Every second counts. He goes through the flipping floor. Yeah, 30 seconds. No more on the second flipper. 30 seconds. He's almost there. He's headed for a body. That's it. 34 seconds. Of the Mega Maniacs. Up next, Dave, do you want to say anything about him or have you done your business? I just want to say this is going to be a very tough time to beat. This is going to be top notch games playing if he beats this. All right, good luck, Robert. Start your challenge. Yeah. Robert will almost certainly use the turbo boost right from the off. And there he goes. He's at full power. He gets that flipper. I'll give him even more momentum as he shoots up with. Will he go back for the slippers? Yes, he's turned around. He's going back for the red slippers. Sonic will now be at full speed as he heads across the level. The only thing that can stop now is running into things like rocks. That's bringing up to high. That's it, he's on the invisible wall. No! Oh no, he can't get up. He's, oh, he's wasting so much time. That's it. I'm going to tell you, that's it. He's out of the challenge. It doesn't matter what he does, he's not going to beat the time now. It's a matter of nerves. He's playing for pride. He's going to have to go through for pride. Come on, Robert, just complete it. Just complete it for pride. Oh, and if once it goes wrong, it all goes wrong on these games. Let's have a big cheer for Robert. Two challenges left, the Mega Maniacs, they've got to make it up. If they want to stay in the competition, they've got to win this next challenge. So, Games Master, tell us what it is. Street Fighter 2 Turbo for the Super Nintendo is the next, and possibly final, challenge in this championship. One team must take two rounds off their opponents to win. Well, this challenge could actually decide the whole championship. And what better way to decide the championship than with the gamers game, Street Fighter 2. The characters are very well matched. We have Ken and Ryu, two very well-rounded characters. Stuart will be playing Ken, and Matthew will be playing Ryu. Right, so there's not much else for us to say, other than good luck, guys, and start your challenge. Yeah! Press the three rounds. I'm going to both start off with fireballs. Ken catches one in the midriff as he leaps. Ryu's hit throwing all the fireballs and Ken's trying to get in close to get the high kick. Beautiful combination. High kick, low kick, power kick. Oh, he's not going to use a dragon punch. We didn't quite get a dragon punch in. And that's it. Ryu's got the many. Ryu's are over. First round of Ken. Very fast. Okay, and they're going to strut in. Ryu once again firing the fireballs. And Ken chooses to use combinations. That's always the mark of a good Street Fighter 2 combination. Good fight, Street Fighter 2 competitor. It's not about the special moves, it's about the combinations. They're what do the damage, the sustained punishment that the combinations provide. Yes, a dragon punch! Stuart wins with a dragon punch. Two straight rounds. That means we've got one more challenge to go. That's going to decide who wins the final. Right, Games Master, tell us what the final challenge is. The deciding challenge of this nail-biting championship is on the classic soccer sim, Striker for the Super Nintendo. Two halves of goal-scoring action will determine who shall call themselves the Games Master Team Champions. I want an honourable match. It's in your hands now. So, the final challenge is Striker on the SNES. I've been chatting so much, more voices gone. This is the final challenge of the series. It decides the championship. The team that wins this, well, they've won the whole final, the mega prizes and everything. Dave, do you want to say anything about the teams, the guys who are playing? I have got nothing to say. I just want to say, good luck, guys. Thanks for making an entertaining series. Yeah. Let's just get it on. Yeah, right, I say. So, Paul of the Hawks is going to play for England, and Russell of the Mega Maniacs is playing Germany. Start your challenge! Germany are in the clean kit. England in the familiar white shirts, blue shorts. And it's Germany racing straight into the attack. And that's a goal! That's a goal away! Off. A goal for Russell and the Mega Maniacs. 1-0 to Germany. 1-0 to Germany, that's the Mega Maniacs.
Okay, England take the kickoff. Both these players don't forget I've chosen to play this game. Both experienced players. Oh, we're going to see a bit of a goal back there, I think. As Germany get the ball out. Weissy hit the ball. The German players are going to throw away. It's coming in at the angle, I told you. That's another goal. That's another goal. Two nil. Come on, Germany. 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 Come on